Hello everyone. In this lab, I'll show you how to create a Windows and a Linux virtual server on Amazon EC2. So let's get started. First, click on services here on top and under compute, select EC2. Currently, I have zero running instances, so I'll go ahead and click on launch instance. I'll start off by creating a Linux virtual machine, so I'll select a Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8. Make sure that it's a free tier eligible, so you do not get charged. Again here, make sure that it's a free tier eligible. And then click on Next. You can configure the networking for your machine here. As you can see, the subnet and the VPC. I'm okay with the default, so I'll click on Next. Here you can configure the storage on your disk for your machine. I'm okay with the defaults again, so I'll click on next, next. I need the port 22 open, of course, so I can SSH into my Linux machine. And I would change that to anywhere, so I can connect to my Linux machine from anywhere in the world. Click on review and launch, launch. And I would need to create a new SSH key pair for my Linux machine. I'll call it Linux1. I'll download it and then launch instance. This will take a few minutes, so I'll go back here. While we are waiting, let's create our Windows machine. Oops, I'll go back to services, EC2, launch instance. This time around we need Windows. Okay, I'll create a Microsoft Windows Server 2019. It's a free tier eligible as you can see. Select, free tier eligible, next, next, next. One more time, next. For the Windows machine, I need the port 3389 to connect remotely via the RDP, the Remote Desktop Protocol. Again, here I would select anywhere, review on launch, launch. I need an access key for my Windows machine as well. I'll call it Win1. Download the key pair. And finally, click on launch instances. All right, now let's see if anything got created just yet. Oh, I think I have my Linux machine already running. Awesome. Let's see here. Oh, these two machines I terminated before. Don't need to worry about them. Okay, so that's my Linux machine. I would need to connect to it. All right. So I'll open up my terminal. Go to my downloads directory where I downloaded my SSH key. Change mod 400, my Linux key, and then I would need to SSH into my machine using this command. I'm inside. Look at that. Enam dash a. As you can see, right now, I'm inside my Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 machine on Amazon. The uptime here is two minutes, as you can see. So this server has been up and running for two minutes. This is the kernel, 4.18. And if you want to make sure that it's an Amazon machine, I can do... Let's see. As you can see, that's an Amazon machine, of course. All right. You don't need to understand what I did right here. That's uh, way beyond uh, this course or this certification. All right. Awesome. So 
I was able to successfully connect to my Linux machine. I would exit. Let's try to connect to my Windows machine now. Okay, so right now it's running, as you can see, the Windows machine still initializing. So you see, Windows is always much slower than Linux. That's why I love Linux so much. I'll give it some time here. I'll pause the video and then I'll come back. All right, so we are back and my Windows machine is finally up and running. So I select it and then click on connect. When I get the password, of course, here you need to choose a key that I just downloaded. So where is it? Windows, open, then decrypt password. Here you go. So the username is administrator and the password is it's a very long password. So I'll click on copy. Now I will open Microsoft Remote Desktop Application. Then I will add PC. Here I would need to get public DNS. I'll go back here and then add. Trying to connect. Then I will paste this very long password. Then continue. Okay, let's see what went wrong here. Administrator, I think I spelled it correctly. Okay, let's just copy it one more time here. Okay, this one I'll copy, then I'll paste. Yeah, I think it will work this time around. Here you go. It's trying to initialize the environment. Of course, it's taking some time. It's Microsoft Windows, what do you expect? And ladies and gentlemen, I am inside the Windows machine that I just created on Amazon EC2. All right, so this brings us to the end of this lab. I hope you enjoyed it. Ciao.